What's up, fight fans? I'm Flying Brian J for MMAmania.com. We're talking about the co-main event of UFC Fight Night 100. It's Thomas Tominhas Almeida versus Albert the Warrior Morales. First thing I want you to notice is that both these guys are 25 years old, but Thomas has fought 22 times in his professional career and Morales only seven. A couple of things that are tangible but not really tangible that I want to question in this matchup is where is Thomas's confidence and where is his chin level? Because his last fight was his only loss of his career and it was a knockout loss against Cody No Love Garbrandt. He's also been rocked a lot of times in his UFC career, normally comes back from it, but No Love proved that there's no way you can come back from his punches. So I want to know where his confidence is in Almeida and I want to know where his chin level is. On the flip side, Morales, I want to see if this is really going to be the best version at UFC Fight Night 100 of him that we have ever seen or that has ever competed. Because he said recently in an interview with Nick Baldwin from BloodyElbow.com on the MMA Circus podcast that he was too confident coming into his UFC debut and he didn't perform to his best of his ability. And he also said that he got this chunk of change and he was able to put a down payment on a house and move out of the gym. Now a lot of times when guys make their UFC debuts and they get a little bit of cash in their pocket, they're able to train more full time and we see the best version of them in their sophomore effort of their UFC career. Because you know when they're outside of the octagon, they're making peanuts, but I think that when they make their UFC debut, they make peanuts, but just a little bit more peanuts. You know what I'm saying? So I do believe him that we're going to see the best version of him that, we, that has ever competed at UFC Fight Night 100, but I need it to be proved to me to really think that it's true. So will Almeida show up and have a decent chin? Will he have confidence? He does have a home field advantage, but will he be confident? Will he have a decent chin? And Morales, will this really be the best version of him that has ever competed? Now let's talk about the stylistic matchup, starting with their defense. Morales is really, really hittable. When he throws his weapons, he often drops his hands, which is bad. He throws a really, really good and quick inside leg kick with his lead leg that's just snapping and takes no wind up whatsoever. It's there before his opponent even knows what happens. Same thing with his jab. But when he throws his power side weapons, his back leg leg kick or his back leg power kick to the body or a right straight, he drops his left hand. Or when he throws his leg kick, he'll drop both of his hands, which makes him really open to getting hit. But his general defense is pretty decent. He hides behind his shoulder quite a bit and he, got it, he has his hands up the majority of the time. But he is really hittable and I'm concerned about how he drops his hands when he throws his weapons. Almeida, his defense, he throws out a lot of parries, which I don't know how great they are for mixed martial arts competition because of the four ounce gloves. But what he does that I really love in his defense is he does the Rampage Jackson kind of roll thing. And then he'll throw a bull rog from Street Fighter style uppercut that's really, really devastating. So the roll and uppercut is one defensive slash offensive weapon that he uses. One thing that I don't like about his defense is that he holds his hands really close together when he has his guard up and guys that throw hooks can go right around it and tag him. Brad, one punch Pickett, was able to throw a left hook at him that dropped him. And Pickett, even though his nickname is One Punch, isn't known for his knockout power. Thomas gets hit a lot, but I'm questioning both their defense here. Now, their offensive skills, I already mentioned that Morales his, throws his strikes really, really fast, and he throws with a lot of ferocity, and he's always moving forward. He has a really good left hook that could be to Almeida's detriment. But Almeida, I think this is going to be the key factor in how this fight goes down. Almeida throws a lot of really solid weapons. I don't mean his weapons that he's good at throwing. I really mean like the literally solid weapons. His elbows and knees, he throws a lot of them. He throws a lot of stepping in right elbows. He throws spinning back elbows. And just look at that jumping knee that he knocked out Pickett with in the second round of their fight. Really, I think this fight comes down to Almeida has a little bit more diversity in his striking attack and he throws those solid weapons. I'm questioning both of their defense here though. So we don't know where Almeida's chin is and if those 22 professional fights where he's taken a lot of damage have really affected his chin, Morales could knock him down and finish him with that left hook. But I'm picking the more diversity and the guy that throws the more solid weapons. I've got Almeida via second round KO or TKO. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below, Almeida or Morales. Please give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you on my next one. Namaste.